नमस्कार आप सभी का स्वागत है मैं हूं राहुल और आप देख रहे हैं ई विद्या चैनल्स और एन का ऑफिशियल यूट्यूब चैनल आज शुक्रवार है और एक विशेष शुक्रवार जिसमें हम लेकर हाजिर होते हैं अपनी विशेष श्रृंखला जिसका आपको बेसब्री से इंतजार रहता है मैं बात कर रहा हूं वेबिनार श्रृंखला सुने और सीखें आज हम इसका तिरपनवा सत्र लेकर आए हैं फिफ्टी सेशन ऑफ दिस वेबिनार सीरीज लिसनिंग टू लर्न डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ एजुकेशन इन साइंस एंड मैथमेटिक्स एन की ये पेशकश काफी लंबे समय से चली आ रही है और आज एक महत्वपूर्ण विषय पर हम ये चर्चा लेकर आए हैं जिसकी जरूरत जिसकी आवश्यकता हम सबको जानने की है क्योंकि हमारे आसपास कोई ना कोई ऐसा जरूर हो सकता है जिसे इसकी सही इंफॉर्मेशन की जरूरत हो जो सही सूचना है जो सही जानकारी है यदि हमारे पास वो होगी तो जाहिर सी बात है कि हम परेशान तो थोड़े कम होंगे और विज्ञान आपकी हर संभव सहायता कर रहा है हर क्षेत्र में would like to begin the session with the message of G20 we are proud that india assumed the G20 presidency and will convene the G20 leader summit for the first time in the country in 2023 a nation deeply committed to the democracy and multilateralism india's G20 presidency would be a watershed moment in the history as it seeks to play an important role by finding the pragmatic global solutions for the well-being of all and in doing so manifest the true spirit of vasudev kutumbakam or the world is one family सो विद दिस पॉजिटिव नोट वुड लाइक टू बिगिन दिस सेशन आप भी हमारे इस लाइव इंटरेक्टिव सेशन का हिस्सा बन सकते हैं चाहे तो आप एट एट जीरो जीरो फोर फोर जीरो फाइव फाइव नाइन ये फोन नंबर नोट करें इस पर आप कोई प्रश्न है कोई जिज्ञासा है कोई परेशानी है तो बेहिचक फोन कर सकते हैं हमारे एक्सपर्ट जो है संभव प्रयास करेंगे हर संभव प्रयास करेंगे आपके प्रश्नों के उत्तर देने का चैनल नंबर नौ से लेकर बारह तक आप हमें पीएम ई विद्या चैनल्स पर भी देख रहे हैं और एक ऐसा लिंक भी स्क्रीन पर फ्लैश होगा जहां हमारे आज तक के जो 52 सेशंस हुए हैं वो सेव हैं उन्हें आप देख सकते हैं और फिफ्टी सेशन जो आज आप ये देख रहे हैं थोड़ी ही देर में ये भी वहां पर आपको मिलने वाला है अब मैं बिल्कुल आप सबका समय नहीं लूंगा मेरे साथ डी की ओर से डॉक्टर गगन गुप्ता है डॉक्टर गगन नमस्कार आपका बहुत बहुत स्वागत है नमस्कार इस कार्यक्रम की भूमिका बांधने वाले और हमारे पास इतने विद्वान लोगों को लेकर आने वाले जो शख्स हैं वो डॉक्टर गगन है आपका स्वागत है और मैं चाहूंगा आप हमारे जो गेस्ट है जो हमारे आमंत्रित जो जो हमारे अतिथि है उनसे हमारे दर्शकों का परिचय कराए यस यस सर नमस्कार दोस्तों और मई के महीने में दिल्ली अब गर्म हो चला है और मौसम गर्म है सर हम एक बार पुनः आपके पास आए हैं अप्रैल के महीने में हम आपके पास नहीं आ पाए थे तो मई मई अब हम शुरू कर रहे हैं इस साल की गतिविधियों को और आज हमारे साथ हैं बहुत फेमस डॉक्टर बहुत फेमस मेडिकल प्रैक्टिशनर डॉक्टर पार्थव मुखर्जी पार्थव मुखोपाध्याय ही इज विद द ईडन हॉस्पिटल मेडिकल कॉलेज कलकत्ता ईडन हॉस्पिटल मेडिकल कॉलेज ऑफ कलकत्ता इज नियरली टू हंड्रेड ओल्ड वेरी Prominent institution in the science in the area of medical science in this country. इससे पहले कि मैं आपका मुलाकात कराऊं डॉक्टर मुखाबादा से मैं थोड़ा सा इस सीरीज के बारे में आपके साथ बात करना चाहूँगा. अगस्त 2021 में ये सीरीज शुरू हुई थी जब हमारे साथ सबसे पहला शो फूड और न्यूट्रिशन पर कतार से हमारे साथ रश्मि कुलकर्णी जोड़ी थी और तब से लेकर आज तक हम CSIR के और गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया के प्रभास प्रवासी भारतीय एकेडमिक एंड साइंटिफिक संपर्क प्रोग्राम के साथ कोलोब्रेशन में जुड़े हुए हैं और हमने इसमें जैसा मेरे दोस्त राहुल ने बताया अभी कि हम बावन सत्र पहले कर चुके हैं आज तिरपनवा सत्र है इस बावन सत्रों में हमने मेडिसिन एस्ट्रोनॉमी सोशल साइंसेस एंटरप्रन्योरशिप मैथेमेटिक्स फिजिक्स बैटरीज के इंटर डिसिप्लिनरी को टच किया है और इन सारे सर्जीज को इन सारे प्रोग्रामों को आप हमारे एन के वेबिन इवेंट्स वेब, वेबसाइट के इवेंट सेक्शन में देख सकते हैं और साथ साथ यूट्यूब चैनल पे में भी देख सकते हैं आज के जो सत्र है हमारे लिए बड़ा इम्पोर्टेंट है बड़ा मुख्य सत्र है इस सत्र के लिए हमारे पास बहुत दिनों से काफ़ी रिक्वेस्ट आ रही थी काफ़ी सजेशन आ रहे थे कि आप इन विट्रो फर्टिलाइजेशन पर इस प्रोग्राम को आयोजित करें आज मैं शुक्रगुजार हूँ डॉक्टर पार्थम मुखोपाध्याय जी का जिन्होंने कि हमारी विनती को और हमारी रिक्वेस्ट को ध्यान दिया और आज उनके लिए भी बड़ा मुश्किल दिन है क्योंकि आज वो शायद उनके लिए भी इतना कॉमन नहीं है कि जब नॉन मेडिकल स्टूडेंट्स के सामने इस तरह के टॉपिक्स पर चर्चा करें मैंने जब उनसे बात की तो शुरू में एज जनरल मेडिकल साइंटिस्ट को थोड़ा सा ये झिझक होती है कि नॉन मेडिकल साइंटिस्ट स्टूडेंट्स के सामने इस तरह के टॉपिक्स पर किस तरह से बात करें बट लेकिन दोस्तों हम वाकई में बहुत शुक्रगुजार हैं आपका बहुत बहुत स्वागत है प्रोफेसर मुखोपाध्याय कि आपने हमारी इस विनती को माना और हमारा मान रखा और आज आप मेडिकल स्टूडेंट्स के साथ नॉन मेडिकल स्टूडेंट्स के साथ आज आप बात करेंगे और दोस्तों इन विट्रो 
पहले मैं थोड़ा सा आपको बताऊं कि इन विट्रो जो कि विट्रो मीन्स ग्लास और प्रोफेसर मुखोपाध्याय इन सब पर बात करेंगे इन विट्रो और जिस तरह इन विट्रो एंड प्रोसीजर्स एंड इन विवो प्रोसीजर्स ये दो मुख्य प्रोसीजर्स हम साइंस की दुनिया में समझते हैं जो कि आपने अपनी कक्षाओं में और अपनी पाठ्यपुस्तकों में भी देखे होंगे डॉक्टर मुखोपाध्याय इन सब के बारे में हमें खासतौर से बताएंगे शुरू में ही लेकिन एक मोटा मोटा अंतर मैं आपके सामने पेश करूं कि इन विट्रो जो कि बॉडी से बाहर निकाल कर और ग्लास प्लेट में प्रोसीजर्स करते हैं और इन विवो जो कि ऑन साइट करते हैं जिससे कि जैसे कि सर्जरीज है और या जिस तरह से कि एंजियोप्रोग्राफी है एंजियोप्लास्टी है वो सब ऑन साइट है इन विवो ट्रीटमेंट्स है और इस सब के बारे में बात करेंगे और अब मैं आपका मुलाकात कराता हूं प्रोफेसर मुखोपाध्याय से दोस्तों प्रोफेसर मुखोपाध्याय इज द फॉर्मर प्रोफेसर एंड हेड ऑफ द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ गायनाकोलॉजी एंड ऑब्स्टरिक्स एट द एडन हॉस्पिटल मेडिकल कॉलेज कोलकाता प्रोफेसर मुखर्जी कंप्लीटेड इज एम बी बी एस फ्रॉम अनदर फेमस मेडिकल कॉलेज ऑफ कोलकाता दैट इज कॉल्ड एन आर एस कॉलेज दैट इज कॉलेज इज ऑल्सो वेरी फेमस एंड वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर दिस टू डिस सेशन एज वेल डॉक्टर डॉक्टर मुखोपाध्याय डॉक्टर सुभाष मुखोपाध्याय हु डिड द फर्स्ट एक्सपेरिमेंट्स which led to the inverter uh, in vitro fertilization in india uh, professor mukhopadhyay will tell us more about it uh, very famous medical college in india very important position and professor mukhopadhyay prof today's professor mukhopadhyay partha mukhopadhyay has been the direct student of dr subhash subhash mukhopadhyay as well hamare liye bahut garv ki baat hai ki professor mukhopadhyay aaj hamare sath hai professor mukhopadhyay has taught various courses to undergraduate and postgraduate courses Uh, for more than 25 years or so dr mukhopadhyay has been associated with the national board on exam of examinations in various capacities he is a renowned gynecologist in kolkata his research areas include oncological and reconstructive surgery he has published more than 70 research papers in national and international journals and contributed several chapters in various medicine textbooks Once again, Professor Mukhopadhyay, your welcome. And uh, now it is yours, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, NCRT and Dr. Gogol Gupta for invi inviting me. Namaste and very good morning. The basic knowledge is the rarest knowledge, and it is very difficult to say something about the basic knowledge, especially. in front of some non medical student about the in vitro fertilization before today's lecture we should remember this man he was my teacher dr subhash mukhopadhyay and he has the greatest contribution in the history of ibf in indian or in international history a bit history first before start any topics in 1978 first ibf baby in the world conceived by the patrick stepto and robert edward and ruiz baun is the name of that baby the first ibf baby born in 25 july 1978 in oldham general hospital greater manchester uk in october 1978 it was reported that my teacher dr subhash mukhopadhyay was performing experiment on his own with primitive instruments and household refrigerators and this result in a test tube baby later named as durga alias kanupriya agarwal i think you also heard the name in paper who was born in the 3rd october 1978 however at that time some unknown reason state authorities prevented him from presenting his work in scientific conferences and his work was not recognized by the international scientific committee at that time and on frustration later he committed suicide my great teacher i think you had you had the opportunity to see the cinema a doctor ki maut or otherwise please see it these days however dr mukhopadhyay's contribution is acknowledged in the work dealing with this subject ivf and dr subhash mukhopadhyay was recognized architect of the second ivf baby in the world 
and first IVF baby in the India. So, we start from the beginning, what is infertility first? Infertility means as inability to conceive on the part of a couple of a reproductive age group, regularly trying for pregnancy without any contraception or protections for one year or more. So, infertility again may be primary, though the couple has no pregnancy previously, may be secondary that they have a pregnancy previously. After that, what is in vitro fertilization? Vitro means is a Latin word glass. If fertilization is done outside the uterus in a glass container, that is called in vitro fertilization and roughly this glass container is called test tube, otherwise it is done is a disc type of container, it is called petri discs. So, when a baby conceived by IVF in a petri dish, it is called test tube baby, baby roughly. So, it is a not and nowadays old one, it is a common practice, more than 2.5 million IVF cycles performed every year in the world, more than half million deliveries worldwide, 48 million of couple living with infertility globally, this is a huge problem and 27.5 million Indian couple are suffering from the infertility. It is problem of one or both parents, both partners are equally responsible, do not put blame on the female partner when there is infertility, that is I want to say. And nowadays with the increase of the knowledge, there is increasing acceptance for infertility treatment. So, before start what is IVF, we should have some basic concept of anatomy and physiology. This is, this is female reproductive tract, this is vagina, it is connected outside with the uterus, this is uterus where the conception occurs, implanted embryo is implanted inside the uterus, this is a fallopian tube both side of the uterus and this is ovary. One there is ovulation the eggs come out through from the ovum, it will goes through this fallopian tube where the fertilization occurs with the sperm and it is implanted inside the uterus and this pregnancy occurs and this is in vivo fertilizations. Again this male genital tract we start from this the testes where the sperm are produced and sperms are collected, there is a vas deferens epididymis, after this sperm is transported through this by this tube, this is called vas deferens to so these seminal vesicles where it is stored and it is mixed with some secretion from the vas deferens, from the seminal vesicle, from the prostate glands before it is ejaculated. So, um, from the beginning of the sperm productions, it takes around 70 days, I will come later all again and this transport is takes at least 15 to 20 days. So, 90 days is required from production of the sperm to the collection or for ejaculation. So, semen mean what I say this is sperm produced in the testes, secretion from the prostate, seminal vesicles and vast difference totally make the volumes. This spermatogenic process in the test is takes 70 days to complete, then is transport takes the 20 days around, so total 90 days. So, when we analyzed a semen for the treatment of the infertility, it reflects the period of 90 days ago what is going on in the testes and if we treat any cause of the seminal problem we have to, if you want to see the result, you have to wait for the 90 days to have the result. So, then production of the sperm, this is the complex structure with head, body and this is a tail, this sperm requires high motility and this is the mature worm surrounded by a membrane and some cells. During fertilization, so millions of the sperm encroaches the worm and only one sperm can penetrate the worm inside the worm and can fertilize the worm. 
So, union of the mature sperm and mature ovum resulting in production of the one embryo. So, what is the steps of the fertilizations? This is the ovary from ovary ovum is produced and from this is the uterus the sperm is going on through these sides and ovum is picked up inside the fallopian tube. In the distal part of the fallopian tubes lateral part it is fertilized then is transported through the fallopian tube through some stages of the development there is a you can see the multiplication two cell four cells multiplication of the cells to produce embryo ultimate there is a cyst formation that is called blastocyst and after 5 6 days it is implanted inside the uterus and that is the ultimate pregnancy. So, if there is a difficulty in the sperm production, in this difficulty in the sperm transport and difficulty in production of the associated some fluid there is chance of infertility and if there is a no production or late production of the ovary ovum, there is any obstruction in the passage, any, any difficulty in the uterine wall there is a chance of infertility. So, in short causes of the female infertility, ovulation is infrequent or absence, fallopian is damaged and blocks, endometriosis is the result is a disease of the female, I am not discussing this, some tumor in the uterus which prevent implantations and are some always unexplained. Male infertility again I have already told abnormalities in the sperm production, abnormalities of the sperm function because sperm requires high mortality to penetrate to reach the ovum and to penetrate the ovum. Abnormality in the ductal situation the obstruction the spermatozoa the sperm cannot be carried from the testes to the outside and most often idiopathic unexplained that means we do not know actually. So, idiopathic in another terms uh, said by one of the great teacher in our lines uh, some idiot doctor makes the life of a patient pathetic. Uh, so, there should not be any term of like idiopathic there is some definitely some cause we do not know. So, semen analysis we have to do the semen analysis to know the any abnormality of the semen and this is the minimum criteria minimum criteria by the who to have a fertilization by. So, volume is greater than equal to 1.4 pa sperm concentration the count per milliliter greater than equal to 15 milli, million and total sperm count is greater than 39 million per ejaculate actually it is the minimum usually it is 150 to 200 million sperm is present per ejaculate. Sperm should be actively motile and minimally total active motile is 42 percent and of which 30 percent should be progressive motile. This motility is very important this is sperm have to travel from the vagina up to the fallopian tube to near the ovary. Morphology should be normal, there is abnormal form sperm and should be living because there is to move, motility should be present and should not be infected. If there is one more than 1 million cell, it is infected and it is defective. So, these are the causes of the infertility, and all the infertility causes does not require IVF. IVF is the last sort of management of infertility when no other treatment can be done because most of the infertility patient can be treated with simple medicine. So, first indication is the fallopian tube I saw you the fallopian tube there is a blockage if there is blockage there is no medicine can cure this. There is ovulatory disorder no ovum is produced if there is no ovum produced how the fertility can be done again if the one at least one ovum is available it is not ovulating it can be taken out or ovum can be taken from a donor. Endometriosis is a, is a disease it is inside the maternal pelvis 
impaired sperm production. This is very less, at least I saw the minimum number of the sperm 15 million is required per ml. If less than that sperm, this is the abnormal sperm, there is chance of infertility and IVF is required. Unexplained, there is always something unexplained we do not know. Genetic disorder to prevent the genetic or disorders, IVF is done. Fertility preservation for cancer and other holidays, it is a very important nowadays. If mother is having some cancer, he will require some drug, these drugs will destroy the ovary and ovarian function. In that case, the ovum is taken out from the mother before starting the treatment of the cancer and it can be preserved. It can be preserved after in vitro fertilization, the embryo can be preserved or this ovum can be preserved in liquid nitrogen. And after that IVF is done and this is uh, fertility can be preserved. And sometimes in elderly patient over the age of the party, if they comes with the infertility, it can be uh, given as a primary treatment. IVF not a very simple procedure. There are several steps it requires. First is the ovarian suppression by some giving hormone, so that the inner hormone can be suppressed and artificially ovary is stimulated by giving hormone. So, mature eggs and produce and we suggest more than one eggs and that is collected. Then semen is collected and processed, just semen is not enough, I will come. Eggs are fertilized by the sperm in the glass container that is test tube baby and then this fertilized eggs and embryos or more than one embryo are transferred to the uterus and fertilization occurs. The procedure can be done with the couple's own egg when the own egg or sperm is not available, the eggs and sperm can be taken from the donors. Again, there was an one cinema on this subject, Vicky donors, and IBF may involve the sperm and eggs from the anonymous donor. So, what the first step? Very in short and very simple way. This is the ovum. This is the ultrasonography guide inside the vagina, and with a syringe and known needles through the vagina under ultrasound guided, ovum is aspirated in the container. Then semen is collected, usually about average 3 days abstinence is asked and it is collected in very well wide mouth glass and it should reach the, it is usually uh, taken inside the laboratory or otherwise the patient can take it in the home and it should reach within hour in the laboratory. So, what is done with the semen? It is first kept in this tube, this is like test tubes and it is mixed with some media and media is this container is taken in a centrifuged machine. In the centrifuged machine it is rotated for 20 minutes for 1600 rotation per minute high, high speed and the healthy sperm, very clean part of the semen and the motile sperm can found in the bottom of the tube and which is taken for fertilizations. Then sperm is taken in this petri dish, you can see there is very clean, otherwise semen is very with content very debris and other type of cell. It is the only motile sperm with the tail structure normal can be seen. It is mixed like this in the ovum is collected in the petri dish and multiple sperm approached, motile sperm approach the ovum and it fertilized. It penetrate the ovum and fertilized. After fertilized, after one day this one cell, then this cell start multi multiplications, the four cells, then five cells and there is some cyst form, this is called blastocyst. After that it is transported inside the uterus and it gets implanted and fertilization occurs. I am showing these cells, it will require for the next type of discussion, this is mul there is multiple cell occurs, multiplications. So, then 
this embryo is taken by this type of syringe and under ultrasound guided this is pushed inside the uterus or transfer inside the uterus embryo transfer where fertilization occurs. Usually more than one embryo is used to make the more successful. So that is in gist, this is the ovum aspirate mixed, this is the sperm prepared, this is a mixed in a petri dish, this is a fertilization multiple set, this is the blastocyst and this is transferred inside the uterus. This is in gist in vitro process of the in vitro fertilization, ovum pickup, semen preparation, fertilization and transferred inside the uterus. So, there is now some various name came in, I am talk, telling you. The gamete is the one, the fusion is the ovum in the embryo is a gamete called gamete, when it start, gamete is the ovum or em, embryo separately, sorry, of either female gamete or male gamete. When they fused, this is zygote, when the cells are starting multiplications, it is called embryo. This embryo is transferred inside the uterus and is a when it requires preservation. Nowadays, a preservation is uh, done almost always after fertilizations. This embryo is preserved in the liquid nitrogen as a temperature of the 196 degree centigrade and it is implanted in the next cycle so that the intrauterine atmosphere is initially previously it was artificially prepared, naturally prepared at the implantation access is more. So, such after such a complicated procedure, you cannot expect there is 100 percent success rate. Success rate, whatever may be the laboratory set, what is, whatever may be the in vitro fertilization center set, success rate is not much, maximum around 40 to 45 percent that but they are claiming and more the age, lesser the success rate. In that case, usually donors eggs or donor sperm is taken from a younger persons. <coughs> what does mix? Multiple birth, twin, even triplet because multiple embryos are transferred inside the uterus and there is either due to multiple pregnancy or any some unknown factor, there is premature delivery. That means delivery occurs more less than 37 weeks of pregnancy. Usually 40 weeks is the normal state, normal period, pregnancy period. Ovarian hyperstimulation is very complicated disease in case of ovarian stimulations. Abortion is very common after IVF. Egg retrieval, the aspiration of the egg during egg this is done with the needle and there is chance of injury of the urinary bladder, chance of injury of the intestine, there is chance of injury of the vessels. Ectopic pregnancy, during ovum transferred, sub ovum enters, the embryo enters the fallopian tube and pregnancy occurs fallopian tube that means outside the uterine cavity and that is called ectopic pregnancy and that is a very dangerous and birth defect do not know actually there is more incidence of birth defect after in vitro fertilization. This is important term this is surrogacy and it is very much associated with in vitro fertilization, but without in vitro fertilization surrogacy cannot occur. You I think you all know surrogacy, it is in paper almost very frequently. It is arrangement supported by a legal agreement, it should be legally acceptable. When the woman agrees to carry pregnancy and delivery on behalf of another people who will become the child's parents after birth. So, woman is carrying pregnancy is a gestational carrier of the other couple and after pregnancy is over, he will she will deliver hand over the baby to the parents and she will not claim about the maternity of that. So, here is the IVF done that is the embryo after in vitro fertilization taking ovum and sperm from the couple, this ovum is embryo is transferred to the inside the surrogate mother uterus 
another complicated things now with this is very related to the ectopic pregnancy a in, in vitro fertilizations when there is severe male factor is present but husband is not but couple is not agree to take the donor sperm in that case even this one sperm is available from the either vas deferens or epididymis or testis it is taken and it is injectly injected directly into the egg to have the in vitro fertilizations it is nowadays is very common in case of severe form form of the male infertility what is done this is a picture this is the ovum it is fixed it is very multiplied multiplied many time eh? multi magnified many times this is fixed this is the for say fix the ovum and only one sperm it is injected directly into the ovum and there is a fertilization so far xc or intracytoplasmic sperm injections avoid is a common system of the ivf in case of very severe form of the male infertility when this sperm is almost not available only one sperm is at least 10 million 15 million sperm is required for fertility and 5 to 10 lakhs for sperm is required after processing for in vitro fertilization so this few question arised how many embryo to be transferred ideally one embryo should be transferred to avoid complication especially of multiple pregnancy premature birth but it is not done to make the more success usually two or three embryo is transferred so there is multiple ovum this is a ovum hyper stimulation multiple ovum are picked up in one cycle what is done with that after in vitro fertilizations this embryo is cryo preserved in the liquid nitrogen and if the first cycle of ivf is not successful this ovum is taken out from the liquid nitrogen and can be transferred for the second time it reduces also cost because it is very difficult to have a success rate in the first attempt usually doctors at advise the facility advised for the three cycle so cumulatively the th after three attempt pregnancy rate is more so second time already embryos are present it is cow preserved the cost of the treatment is less succeeded i have told not much and there is nowadays some role of ivf in prevention of genetic disorder disorder genetic disorder can be tested two types one is prenatal that, that means after pregnancy occurs test genetic testing can be done from taking biopsy from the placenta that is called chorionic villus biopsy it is done around 9 to 10 weeks or amniotic fluid there is some fluid collections inside the uterus in surrounding the embryo fetus and that is done around 11 to 13 weeks after that genetic testing and if abnormal it is found it can be treated and usually abortion is done in that case so it requires if diagnosis is positive it requires abortion so pre implantation implantation genetic diagnosis is possible in case of ivf it is dense and it can avoid the process of abortions i already showed you the picture of the multiple cell of the embryo one or two cells are taken out and they are tested for the dna tested or genetic testing is done to detect any abnormality and if there is abnormal abnormality this is cancelled and if the normal embryo is found that is transferred to the uterus and that can avoid the genetic disease that is the pre implantation the genetic testings and this result genetic testing is done three types is very it's a complicated process one is aneuploidy this is the number of the chromosome vary trisomy 21 is very common is a down down syndrome and one is some disease which is carried by the parents either mother or father that you know the known is thalassemia sickle cell 
is this is a known disease and there is some structural defect of chromosome that is called PGT SR that can be also diagnosed by the P gestational testes. Test. So, pre gestational testing is done in the couple risks of transmitting. So, have a history of previous abnormal baby or the mother, mother the parents have some history then thalassemia carrier then thalassemia carrier in that case genetic testing is done to avoid the invasive testing of the prenatal te testing. So, I think that is the gist of the in vitro fertilization or basic of the in vitro fertilizations. It is a complicated process and costly process and it is the last resort of the treatment of infertility and should be used judiciously. Proper counseling should be done because success rate is not 100 percent. Proper patient selection so that the success rate is more. IVF is time consuming, not first this is complicated process, not the first cycle is always successful, it is an expensive and invasive. But we should give, we should feel the pain of the infertile couple. And our idea to give the infertile couple and healthy baby at a minimum cost, but it should be remembered the IVF is the last sort of treatment to us for the infertility. It should be of should not be offered as a first sort of treatment as a method of business. I think I am able to give you some idea. This is my alma mater. Medical College Eden building. This is a huge big building only for the gynae department and this is also more than 150 years old. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much Professor Mukhopadhyay. We really enjoyed and uh, uh, listening to you sir. Uh, now, please allow me to uh, address to ask some questions which yes, I have sir. been receiving uh, from different sources. Uh, Colleagues, uh, friends, uh, the embryo cryo preservation uh, is done at minus 196 degree centigrade temperature, that is around 76 kelvins liquid nitrogen. Uh, some somebody was uh, asking about it little more, though you, uh, Professor Mukhopadhyay, you mentioned it, but I just repeated it. Anyway, so there are some uh, uh, queries, uh, some questions. Uh, we often find that through IVF, uh, children are born either as twins or as triplets even and uh, very rarely we see uh, the single child. Uh, is it some technological limitation or how actually, is it? Actually, actually uh, nowadays it has also come the single embryo transfer. Actually to make the success rate more, the infertility specialists are transferring more than one embryo is inside the uterus and sometimes this both embryos implanted or three embryos implanted. But if two embryos are implanted without we are not giving any treatment, we are allowing the pregnancy. In three embryos implanted that is triplet there is a treatment that is called selective fetal reduction. There is a treatment is done, one fetus they are giving some injection inside the fetus very early weeks and the fetus will, fetus will die. There is a potassium chloride usually okay, that is given. That is given, and then do both other babies are allowed to so, continue so, the pregnancy. So, एक तरह से एक fetus को खत्म करना है और दो fetus को बचाए रखना है. तो ये दो fetus two fetus is allowed. Two fetus is allowed. और शायद वो human body भी उसको sustain कर सकती है. ये सब reasons हैं. Quite understandable. Sometimes there is premature birth, but nowadays there is so many treatment of premature. Premature, yes, yes. These are. There is no problem. These are premature birth. So, 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 जब हम पोटेशियम फ्लोराइड देते हैं, तो क्या जो दोनों फीटस हैं, बाकी के वो हेल्दी बने रहते हैं या उनपर Usually, these are separately given inside the heart of the. Separately, it is selected. Actually, it is a complicated process, but it is done now. It is done nowadays. So many fetal center they are doing this. Now you talked about that uh, injects, uh, injections etc. Mm. Uh, when you are making see uh, there are some uh, I mean uh, some apprehensions ki jab hum embryo ko egg ko le rahe hain aur usme 
फर्टिलाइज़ करने के लिए अल्ट्रासोनिक मेथड्स को यूज़ करते हुए आप स्पम दे रहे हैं तो क्या एग के डैमेज होने की प्रॉबेबिलिटी वहाँ बनी रहती है विच सीज प्रोबेबली जब आपने सक्सेस रेट्स बताए नो 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 एक्चुअली इन द पेट्रेडिक्स वायर दस ओबर इज अ केप्ट ओबम्स आर केप्ट The sperm addict, but this is a fine instrument. There is no problem actually. Okay, ours. that's that's that is not damaged actually. Okay, the size of uh, egg is roughly uh, 100 micron. 100 micron, so 0.1 mill, just the uh, size of say uh, dust, particle. Uh, dust particle. Dust particle. Dust particle. Size. Let's say this six to ten microns. microns. Yes, sperm is very small. So sperm uh, is. Not visible through naked eyes. No, no, no. no. Egg is also not visible. Egg is a point one no. uh, millimeter, <coughs> roughly. Uh, uh, Rahul, you also have some uh, questions yes, with you in your hand, so please. Uh, we and then some questions through our online streaming. Uh, so, Dr. Mukhopadhyay, कुछ ऐसे भी लोग हैं जो आप जैसे आप जानते ही हैं कि इस विषय में बात करना भारत जैसे यदि हम देश में बात करें तो थोड़ा सा अनीजी है लोगों के लिए. लेकिन चूंकि जैसे आपने कहा कि टेक्नोलॉजी बहुत एडवांस्ड है फिर भी जो कुछ स्त्रियां हैं जैसे जिनमें कुछ यूट्रेस नहीं होता है तो क्या उनमें प्री फर्टिलाइजेशन की प्रक्रिया को किया जा सकता है यस यस आई से रूल इज ऑलरेडी एक्सेप्टेड इन इंडिया बिकॉज सम रेस्ट्रिक्शन आई नो देर इज पेपर आई ऑल्सो सम लिटरेचर दारोगेट मादर इस कॉल्डेट मादर शुड बी Close to one relative actually, and at some age limit, that or that the pregnancy can able to carry. Okay. Usually, I think 25 to 35 is the age limit, young couple. And his ex, she exit, but uterus is absent, but ovary over is present. Okay. Okay. So egg can be collected. Okay. From that, and in vitro fertility, the husband sperm is in vitro fertilization occurs and transferred to the sperm. Inside the uterus of surrogate mother, mm -hmm. the pregnancy can occur. It is done nowadays. एक बहुत अच्छी आपने term use की थी जब आप इस बारे में बात कर रहे थे कि it should be used judiciously. बहुत अच्छी बात आपने हमारे दर्शकों के लिए बताई. एक awareness के point of view से भी यदि हम यदि हम देखें, genetic disease को भी रोका जा सकता है. आपने बताया कि उसके test होते हैं. एक सवाल यहाँ पर आता है कि surrogacy जब होती है, तो जो जिस लेडी ने जिस फीमेल ने बच्चे को कंसीव किया हुआ सरोगेट मदर सरोगेट मदर जिसकी हम बात कर रहे हैं क्या उसके जेनेटिक गुण आ सकते हैं बच्चे नो नहीं पॉसिबल नहीं कोई पॉसिबल नहीं बट सी शुड नॉट हैव एनी मेडिकल डिजीज दैट शुड बी स्क्रीन्ड स्क्रीन होना चाहिए डायबिटीज प्रेशर Anemia. Okay. That's all should excluded after the test. This should be selected properly. Okay. But hard genetic material will not come. Okay. 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 Visible है कितना? It is beyond my knowledge. But the the uterus is transferred to a male body. Yes. Uterus uterus transplantation already. It has been done. It has been done. But it is not in male body. Oh okay. That's not possible. That's not possible. That's not possible. I don't know. I I. That's okay. Read in Google or something. There is one case of something like. Yes yes in Britain. Uterus must be present in that. Okay. Okay, okay. So then the mode, the only C-section mode is there mm. in that case. Uh, sir, how ethical uh, these issues? See, we have moved. I remember 1978, uh, I used to be a you know, very small child at that time, but I still remember a uh, lot of ethical issues were involved with this test tube babies or IVF uh, fertilizer uh, schemes. Uh, now we have moved from 78 to 2023. How do you see that the ethical uh, issues have been uh, changed? What are the dynamics of these ethical issues during these years? Actual, the infertility case has been increased. I think due to uh, lifestyle, lifestyle uh, later later age of marriage actually. This okay. one is the important factor. If the later age of the marriage. The there is some female disease actually. What is I have mentioned endometriosis. Endometriosis. There is endometrial tissue outside the uterus, inside the pelvis, and this is another cause. Another is uterine some tumor. Hmm. Hmm. 
again with the age this ovulation uh, power of ovulation the number of the ovum the quality of the ovum this all decreased actually that is why this is more incidence of the infertility nowadays. I see. So with the more incidence and they are all capable of having and they can spend money, uh, not uh, is almost everybody. So, so now it is more acceptable. More acceptable. More acceptable. More acceptable. More acceptable. And it should be acceptable and everybody should know. There is infertility means does not you can cannot reject or you cannot deprived or you cannot be disheartened. There is so many treatment. You know, I, I have seen more than 50 years since the infertility. Yes, yes, yes now seen, uh, some almost 50 years have, uh, yes, uh, yes the, I still remember the researches uh, used mm. started coming in newspapers mm. right from mm. 1973 mm. or so, 1973, 74, I remember. Uh, sir, uh, uh, hemolytic diseases are possible in this area uh, of cases? What? Hemolytic, I mean, uh, iron ki kami hai. No, no, hemolytic disease means that means that is a thalassemia. Thalassemia, okay. Sickle cell anemia. Uh, nowadays, we, everybody is screened it at least before marriage. It is now a customary to do the screening before marriage, thalassemia and sickle cell. Yes, we yes, often. Uh, see. Otherwise, in all government setup nowadays, when the patient first come in the pregnancy, early part of the pregnancy, we are testing. I them. see. So, that so in is that case, we, we, the husband, wife is of thalassemia carrier, we testing the husband, if both are carrier, in that case we can have genetic testing. I see. So, uh, yes, uh, that is being said that thalassemia minors. And thalassemia mm, minors, so mi minor, they only carrier, they only carrier. They only carriers. If so. both are minor, then 25 percent chance of measure. Measure, yes. In so that case, testing is nowadays done. Okay. And there is various centers. However, ethically, I mean, we often, the, as a science student, we always say that uh, in order to match the horoscopes, it is better to match the blood groups blood, and blood, the blood. blood groups, etc. Blood groups. But uh, Again, being blood the groups is not a person problem nowadays. Oh. There is a treatment also, RH negative is not a problem, but this genetic disease, that is genetic a, disease should be screened. Yes, sir. And yes, another, sir. this the infectious disease there is. Sir, well, how long this cryo? Uh, these uh, sponges can be preserved in cryo preservation systems? Is it can be long time. I don't actual, I cannot say because there is some case where I, what I have said this cancer, uh, like this, uh, there is can be preserved long. You, many, for many years, I cannot say this. That yes, uh, we hear it in the newspapers. The many many years it can yes. be kept. So many years, mm -hmm. yes. Sir. Uh, I mean, it has been observed probably, uh, you mentioned it, but let us listen slightly more, that it has been observed often that the children, those who are uh, taking birth as a result of IVF mechanism, have lesser weight, have lesser mm. mass. Uh, is there any no, no, pattern? No, initially, or usually IVF pregnancy, usually the babies are taken out prematurely. Okay. Yeah. So, this is baby a size is small at that time, and later it will be not a problem. Uh, I will ask you some more questions about this uh, uh, lifestyle, etc. See, uh, uh, you said 90 days for a male uh, production of sperms to, to ejaculation, to ejaculation, 90 days time. Yeah. See, the sperm formation starts taking place, um, starts uh, for a child of say 12 years or 13 years of age, around, oh, yes. around uh, 90 years of days. Ninety uh, days. Uh, Ninety days, and particularly when a person knows that there is some problem, uh, infertility problem in, in, in the case of the male in particular. So, what kind of precautions this male should take so that the sperm is healthier? Actually, uh, there is some basic treatment of the male infertility. One is the the working environment. Too much uh, warm environment. This hampers the sperm productions. Again, that uh, working with some chemicals, some toxin that goes inside, that's hamper the sperm production. They should have precaution with this. That everybody should ask if there is actual basic investigation of an infertility patient is the semen analysis first. Yes, yes, yes always semen analysis is, first. That you mentioned. And if uh, there is any problem, then ask that um, husband about this problem. 
any drugs he has he is been taking that can suppress any habit, extra smoking habit any drinking habit these, these are, are all effect yes. on the sperm productions i see i see so so one should take care uh, i mean uh, with this note i can take uh, take home advice as well that before planning the family uh, one should take care at least three four months in advance uh, the lifestyle yes. modification lifestyle modification must be very important both both must, both, both the parents both the both parents, the parents. Uh, so, sir the um, stress or diet you said that after the conception pre fertilization post fertilization these are the steps which you mentioned about in this process uh, yet again uh, lifestyle make a difference so is it uh, i mean particularly for the post fertilization when that embryo mm -hmm. fertilized embryo is transferred into the uterus is the lifestyle of the female uh, need to be different from a person from a female who has conceived naturally uh, is it, it is in high risk pregnancy always okay and it is uh, ultimate stage of pregnancy because all other procedure failed so uh, always extra care should be taken it is not the bed rest, rest is mandatory but extra rest should be taken and initially first three months is very critical after then she can allow to do some household work or like this some journey without uh, any jerks. jerking without any jerks again this last part is important but nowadays it is usually uh, at least four weeks prior to that date it has been usually taken out i whatever the, they are not taking much risk this infertility specialist sir you told about the uh, legitimacy of surrogacy etc in this country and worldwide mm -hmm. uh, as a medical practitioner uh, do you really see the cases of surrogacy are uh, increasing in this country or is there is there is a sizable number Actually, I have nobody came to me. I Actually, see so far, but only yeah. one when I was in. There is a SSKM hospital in Calcutta. There was, I was working uh, due to some problem. This uh, uterus was removed okay. of that woman, and at that time, and there is a surrogacy was not uh, that's common or that's not uh, already so, uh, in rule. In surrogacy is acceptable, but. At that time, he did some question to me: uh, Is that possible? Yes, like yes, this type of surrogacy, like that. Yes, we so often, I could not answer at that time. Right. Uh, okay. How often? I mean, one. No, no. One is problem is I I found in many time many in many patients. One is the uterus is congenitally absent. These cases are not uncommon now. It is I got many cases in hospital practice. Ovary is present, uterus is absent. Oh, I see. Yes, this, this is totally is structurally female. Or only uterus is absent. This type of patient is. Yes, in many cases, uterus is being removed also. Also removed no, some. That you answered mm -hmm. in the beginning itself. Yes, that's true. Uh, okay, sir. Uh, suppose one couple, one lady has already gone with this IVF. Now she wants to go it the again. However, I mean. If she wants to go again for the same kind, similar kind of treatment, uh, is it possible, or how uh, how often it, it uh, actually happens? Because we have r uh, really not seen much cases of that kind. Uh, and after IVF, I can have seen pregnancy, and it is a peculiar. The IVF uh, has some effect, cure effect, on that female. Oh, and she had a normal pregnancy after that, after IVF, second okay, time. Okay, so seen, that is also. I have seen a few patients. The That's first IVF, second time the normal spontaneous pregnancy. Okay, with the same uh, male. Same, with the, same. With the same couple. In the same couple. So, so that some female factor was there at that time. Okay. Age, one important factor was the age at that time. But second IVF is possible and it is done if required. Okay. And uh, the frequency, I mean. The, uh, is what? Rare, rare, right? uh, Nobody is what? wanting to. In, in any case, risk actually. Yes. How much time should be given for the second? Uh, for the, either no, the case not not. This is normal pregnancy. Can normal gap pregnancy. Can be normal. Uh, so that can be treated as normal. normal. So just with a gap of three four months or so, it can happen, right, sir? Uh, uh, now in the case of the don donor response, the donors. Uh, uh, do we have in this country 
uh, is it legalized yet? The, uh, uh, you mentioned uh, no, it, that is legalized. Le it is no, legalized. No. Okay. Sperm bank is available. Sperm banks are available, and yes. Bank is available. So, uh, in this country, uh, in Delhi, I know one, mm. uh, but uh, do we have in smaller cities also or in other cities mm. also? Actually, they are in infertility center, they are using donor sperm, I know. I see. I know. But that may not have sperm bank, but they are using donor sperm. Okay. So, sir, uh, thank you very much for being with us, sir. Thank, Bada, thank we really you. enjoyed, we really enjoyed and doc, uh, listening to you and discussing it with you. Bahut maja aaya, sir. Aur dosto, aaj aapke paas aur koi sawal ho, to aap humse zarur puchiyega. Aur aapka email, Professor Mukhopadhyay ka email address aapke paas hai, slides mein hai. Aap zarur puchiyega. Aap iske alawa, agar aapke paas kuch aur questions bhi ho, kuch aur topics bhi ho, aapke sujhav ham logon ko badi madad karte hai. In fact, jaise maine bataya ki aaj ka session hamare paas aapki demand par tha. Similarly, aapki demand samay milti hai. For example, I am getting lot of uh, requests talk, for talking about space junks, how to deal with the space junk. Very soon we are going to come with this topic uh, with professor um, uh, from uh, Ayuka Pune on this topic to talk about space junk etc. You please keep on speaking to us, please keep on, keep on telling to us about this information. Next we are coming uh, uh, on 26th of May with Shivin Nath Sharan from NIIT University. Nimrana and he will be talking about the generations of communication networks for from 1G to uh, uh, today's sessions 5G, 4G etc. What are the differences, what are the frequencies etc. So, Professor Mukherjee, I remember that you were with me a few years ago and you were with me a few years ago and we were with you a few years ago and we were with you a few years ago and we were with you a few years ago and we were with you a few years ago. Once again, I thank you very much for accepting our invitation. It is also a great opportunity for me. Yes, sir. We really enjoyed and hope to be with you again and again, sometime again later. Definitely, I will come. So, thank you very much, friends. बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद आपका डॉक्टर मुखोपाध्याय और जैसा आपने बताया कि अगला सेशन जो है कम्युनिकेशन पर होने वाला है कैसे आप जानेंगे 1G से 5G तक की कहानी डॉक्टर गगन गुप्ता आपका भी बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद बहुत आभार कि आपने ये सेशन यहाँ कंडक्ट किया बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया थैंक यू हमारा ये सेशन हम यहाँ समाप्ति की ओर लिए चलते हैं आई हैव एन इम्पोर्टेंट अनाउंसमेंट रिगार्डिंग दी टेक्स्ट बुक्स सो आई वुड लाइक टू शेयर इट विद यू ऑल एन सी ए आर टी टेक्स्ट बुक्स फॉर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी आर अवेलेबल थ्रू आउट द कंट्री दीज टेक्स्ट बुक्स मे बी परचेज डायरेक्टली फ्रॉम एन सी ए आर टी सेल्स काउंटर्स लोकेटेड इन न्यू डेली अहमदाबाद बेंगलुरु कोलकाता एंड गुवाहाटी दीज सेल्स काउंटर्स विल बी फंक्शनल ऑन ऑल द वीक डेज इंक्लूडिंग गजटेड हॉलीडेज सैटरडेज एंड संडेज फ्रॉम नाइन थर्टी एम टू सिक्स पी एम यू मे ऑल्सो प्लेस द ऑर्डर online uh, from our website uh, through ncert books.ncert.gov.in and these books will be delivered at your doorstep with no delivery fee. And if you want the soft copy of the books in the PDF version can also be downloaded free from NCERT Diksha platform, e Parshala website and mobile application. You may please visit the website ncert.nic.in to know more about the authorized vendors list. So this was the message related to the textbooks. इसी के साथ हमारा ये listening to learn का जो session है webinar का हम यहाँ समाप्त करते हैं। आप हमारे अगले session के लिए जुड़े रहिए और देखते रहिए e Vidya channels और ncert का official YouTube channel। नमस्कार।